We are absolutely buzzing today. Welcome back to episode 19 of me being miserable for your guys' entertainment. Over the course of the last few weeks, we have played every single hockey video game on this planet. I'm not gonna lie, there's been some pretty good games and some that just shouldn't exist. But you know what? It is time to take this series to the next level. That's right, you guessed it. It's time to play the worst VR hockey games. Okay, I don't know if this needs to be said, but obviously Sensorina is the GOAT. They have the stick attachment. It's an actual training tool. That thing is just crazy. But today we're branching out and testing the unknown. Let's hop in to game number one. Welcome to game number one. This one is simply called Hockey VR. Very creative with the naming. And here we are on the beautiful rink. This is actually kind of a sick setup. I'm not gonna lie. We have the empty rink. We got the open door. We have our, our stick in hand. Oh, look at the detail on these gloves. These are nasty. So all the games we're testing today don't require any sort of special attachment on the stick. As you can see, we just have our two joysticks. I don't know how this is gonna play or if it is going to work at all, but let's get into it. So we got a few different modes here. We got time limit, shot limit, and one timer. Let's go ahead and jump into shot limit to start where we will select our options you can choose between an empty net targets or on a goalie let's just go an empty net as a nice little warmy and we do have a few different arenas in the mix as well so arena mountain view and snowy forest honestly my favorite part of this game is just seeing the environment and look at this oh baby this is like the uh the odr in shell where it's like the uh, helicopter up on the peak this is actually where we are okay so the environment is actually nuts like i love this mountain view i feel like i'm actually in this world and, and the little rock scoreboard i mean that that's a nice touch that's a nice touch okay let's see what the actual physics of this look like again our stick looking pretty good the actual rotation and everything feels pretty decent surprisingly let's go ahead and give this a shot first little clapper right off the rip i feel like i'm getting ready for like a golf swing or something let's just pop oh that had some heat on it I'm not gonna lie, right off the rip, this feels mad awkward, just in terms of like... Oh! <laughs> oh hey, it doesn't feel awkward anymore, watch this. I'm the Dato Chara. Bah! Oh my gosh, dude, that has got some heat on it. That thing's hitting the mountain. I'm not gonna lie, there's something fun about this. Like, it's not as serious, obviously, as Sensorina. It's just us messing around on the pond. But there's something nice about this. We got our rink, we can chill, we can vibe, and we can rip some... Okay, right, right through the wrong net. I think it's this bottom hand that's really controlling where the shot goes, more so than the top, which doesn't feel necessarily super realistic, but I think we just gotta play the game, you know what I mean? So let's aim this. I'm gonna go like top left corner, and we'll see where it goes. Okay, right, top left corner, to be fair. Okay, so it is time to move on to our next location. So it looks like we just jump around the rink a little bit. Look at the cracks in the ice. Is this safe skating conditions out here? Holy. I'm just gonna try to get them all into the net. We got, uh, I think we have like five total shots per spot. We're gonna go every single one of them into the net. Every single one except one is going into the net. Obviously, you know what? This game is pretty simple. Like, there, there's no easy way to put it. It's a simple game, but it's kind of satisfying. Also, super cheap as well. Every game we're playing today is like either free or like three bucks. So you can't complain too much about what you get. Dude, I'm wondering if I can, am I actually getting like some flex on this stick? Like if I bop it on the ground, we, are, we aren't getting any flex. Okay, I was gonna say, is that like how you get the power and the height? But maybe, maybe not. Also, I don't know why some of them go high. I'm following through like I would a normal shot. Some of them are sailing up over the net and some of them are literally just staying right on the ground. Just like that one. Okay, so I think we have a good understanding of the game. Let's get into some actual targets, some actual goalies, and maybe this game will get a little bit better. It's simple, but it kind of gets the job done a little bit. Oh, okay. So we have some targets in the net and look at this environment, dude. This is even better than the last. We got the moon and we're playing under the lights here. Yo. Yeah. I mean, this is honestly the only reason I play these VR hockey games is just to look around the world. I don't care about the ice or the gameplay or anything. I'm just here to see some pretty pictures. Okay. So we have a 30 second timer. We got four targets in the net. Let's actually sweat a little bit here. Pop. Oh, okay, we're getting a little bit of height. If I can just get that top right one. Okay, I'm aiming top right, and we're going bottom left. Oh! How'd that not hit? How, how is it even possible that I did that and it didn't hit? There's one target, bottom left down. We do also have the goal horn up top, 
and uh shout out to the air horn coming through again for like the fifth video in a row we get to hear the air horn on each and every goal we're gonna go a little sauce a little too much sauce okay so we're just jumping to different parts of the rink of course we get one point per target hit there's one bottom left bop bop give me top left little sauce dude how are you supposed to aim these honestly boom boom there we go baby we're starting to figure this out top left we got 12 seconds. I want to hit all four in one of these. If I can just give it a little sauce. There's a little sauce. A little flick. Flick of the left wrist. I'm going to keep the right wrist in the same spot. We're going to flick this right. I probably look like an absolute, an absolute moron right now. No easy way to put it. Dude, you expect me to hit a target from here? I couldn't hit one from three feet in front of the net. Okay, we're jumping from spot to spot. I just want to hit one target. One target from out here and we'll call it a dub. Boom. There we go, boys. So the targets are done. As you can see, it's another another pretty simple mode. I don't know why we're shooting out here from outer space. Literally, like, I know it says we're at the blue line. It feels like I am way further out there. Let's hop into some goalies and uh, see how they play. Okay, now we are keeping it nice and simple. We're on the rink that we started on. Look, at it just transcends into darkness over there. We got the exit sign on top of the door. You know, the nice little touches. Look at that. That's realistic, and the fire safety is right in check. Well, I'm going to say we score three goals, and I'm done. Here we go. Dude, I feel like I look like I, I'm, I'm having a hard time picturing what I look like right now. If you could just do a slow-mo replay of me ripping that clapper, that'd be appreciated. I want to see one video of someone actually doing this and looking decent, because there is no way that it should be this difficult dude this is so hard we're gonna walk i'm gonna kind of do a, a little walk up we're gonna walk into this one watch this i swear i'm gonna hit my tv at some point today boom okay we might be on to something here here we go boys we're starting to figure this out we just gotta act like it's act like it's actual hockey also we're playing against marty broder patrick Waugh in that like come on here Dude, how is he going to get me with the toe pick save? These goalies are better than NHL 23. I really do think that glove side, you see that spot right under his glove? I think that's where we want to go. I'm going to aim it a little more, right? Dude, what do I have to do, Tendi? What do I have to do? Okay, we are front and center. We have an open net. All we have to do is score one. I got no room here. <laughs> There's no way, dude. Boom! I'm the best to... Oh, can you hit the... Boom! I'm the best to ever do it. As we score one on a total of 30, 32 shots. All right. But uh, yeah, this is VR hockey, simply put. The game actually looks pretty fun. The rinks are cool. And obviously, it's like a pretty sick environment. The glove graphics might be the best graphics that I've ever seen in a hockey game. But unfortunately, the physics and, and actually shooting the puck is literally the most difficult thing that I have ever done. Don't know if I could recommend this one, but hey, they're off to a... They're off to a pretty good start. Welcome to game number two. This is a different world. And holy, I'm telling you what, this one might be special. We have VR Hockey Reborn. So the first game was, was Hockey VR. Now we have VR Hockey and it's been reborn. Dear hockey player, the development of VR Hockey Reborn is getting out of my financial capability. I will still continue to improve the game to make it the best VR hockey game ever. For real, shout out to the devs, man. I don't know what kind of work goes into these VR hockey games. I can imagine it's very tough, so if you wanna help our boy out, his links are down here below. Now, first thing we notice, we got our hands here, okay? Oh, oh, can we do a little finger gun? Wait, how would I do this? Oh. That's sick. This is actually kind of fire right off the rip. So I think we're actually gonna have to grab a hockey stick here as we have the floating red stick. We grab it from here and boom. What is that curve? Whoa, 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 whoa. That might be the ugliest hockey curve I've ever seen. That ain't no P92, P28. What in the world is that? Now the thing that makes this game different, not only do we have to like grab a hockey stick, we can, we can just chuck it to the ground. Oh no, please come back. Please come back. And there we go. All right, we're back. We're back. So you actually have to grab it like where you want to hold it. This is kind of nuts. So the other thing about this game, unlike any of the games that we have played in the past, you can actually move around with the joystick. So as you can see, if I want to come behind the net here and take a look at this. Oh! 
Yo! This is what I'm talking about, fellas. Bang! Oh no, what's going on here? What is going on here? Where's the rest of my stick? Wait, honestly, though, what happened to it? So we just have our stick down here on the ground. Good thing we do have some more. Oh, it broke in half! No! Now we got a little mini twig. What happened? All uh, right, you know what? I'm done with the blue and I'm done with the blue and red stick. I want to grab this beauty. So we have a uh, a righty and a lefty. This is looking more like a more like an agent here. This is what I'm talking about. Wait, that might be a, that a P92. That might be a P92. Now we have our pucks at our hip. So anytime we want to grab a puck, we just reach down, grab the puck, and throw it down. Dude, this is fire. Like, I don't know what happened with the stick and everything. The actual rink and the detail in the seats and the water bottle in the back of the net, this is fire. So we got to grab this with two hands. If we want to walk into it, we'll move a little closer. Let's move a little closer. And we're going to bop this right towards the net. Boom. Okay, much like the last game, this is seeming to be the, uh, the most difficult part. Boom. Okay, not quite. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Boys, I'm not trolling, dude. How? This game is going to be triggering. <laughs> you can already tell. <laughs> Every time I let go, you literally have to hold this the entire time or you're not going to have the stick in your hand. Sick. This one feels less like a hockey game and more just like an open world kind of vibe kind of game. All right, so we got the puck. Can I actually do like, like if I can drop this? This is nuts! Ew! Ew! Yo! This is actually, wait, can I, if I could throw this up and catch it? Oh my, those physics though. Ew! Let's just get it five hole. Go ahead. Come on, buddy, let that go. Also, this, this is an animated object. He's not even moving. Here we go. At least it's not Patty Wall from the last game. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. We're just ripping him until it goes in. Close. Boys, this is going so well. We are absolutely cruising right now. Yes, sir! There it is! And dude, we can sell you hard in this game. Oh, catch it. Oh, if we, we can do the Zach Bell, the always hockey little boom, 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 boom. flip it up, throw it, catch it. That would be nasty. I'm not gonna lie, dude, I'm getting dizzy. Like the VR games where you move around always mess with me. The ones where you're sitting still, I could play all day, but like when you start moving and then my head's turning, it gets tough. Boys, I'm not gonna lie, I am sweating down here and I feel like I need to puke, all right? So let's get through this quick here. We have a ton of different mini games up on the boards. We got goalie training, target shooting, hardest, hardest shot actually goes hard. So in order to play, we have to grab the helmet Oh, wait a second. Yo, this is kind of fire. Grab the helmet and we put it on our head. Let's go. Score goal with maximum power. Best result. We got kilometer, kilometers per hour. Here we go. So give me, uh, we'll go with the, the black agent twig here. I'm going to get set up nice and clean and we're going to see what our fastest shot that we can get is. Here we go, boys. Wish me luck. I am actually going to run into this thing. Here we go. Boom! Dude, it's so hard. It's like, I, I even in my, oh wait. Oh, I'm actually wearing a visor. That's kind of sick. You could see the top of my, I don't know if you guys can see it. You could see the top of my helmet and there's like a little visor line. 77, okay, okay, 70, 77. 85, oh, we're getting up there. Can I get a hundo? Give me a hundo bomb. I'm gonna try to actually walk into this one though. One last banger of a shot here. Closer to the body, I think, is the play. We also need to reset our height. Closer to the body is the play, reset our height, walk into it. There it is. Oh, we didn't get to see the reading since it didn't hit the net. It's gotta hit the net to count. There it is! 85, okay, 85. 85 seems to be the best that we can do. Uh, dude, I feel like I'm gonna puke, like no joke. I need to go lay down. This is VR Hockey Reborn. We played VR Hockey. There was one more game I was gonna test out. So if you guys do wanna see that video, let me know. There's like a giant community that's passionate about our next game called Pickup Hockey League. So again, if you wanna see that, toss a comment down below. Honestly though, this game's kind of sick. Like I just like the open world vibe. I can just skate around and do whatever I want to do. Grab water bottles, toss them in the air, snipe them out of the air. We threw the puck back and forth. Like 
All the little details in this are actually really sick. But again, the one thing that these games just can't seem to get right is like, I, like make it a little easier. Like I don't, maybe it's just me, man. Maybe I'm terrible at these. Maybe it's not calibrated right, but I just struggle so much to hit the puck. And, and that should be the easiest and the most fun part. But all in all, man, this is a pretty sick world. Shout out to VR Hockey Reborn. Shout out to Hockey VR that we played in the first one. Let's be 100% honest, both of these games need a lot of work. But again, I think we have the foundation. This has potential to be a very fun hockey game. I'm excited to see where VR can go. And I had a lot of fun today, regardless of our struggles here out on the ice. Holy dude, I actually feel sick like i feel like i have been on a boat for the last six hours and i just got off that is going to have to do it for today's video of playing the worst and least known vr hockey games both of these games are available in the app lab of the meta quest 2 if you want to test them out for yourself and again shout out to the devs for trying to make these games i cannot imagine how difficult it is thank you guys for all the love on the videos recently i've been having an absolute blast and i'm glad that you guys are too if you did enjoy the video Hit it with a like to let me know. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to one milli, and that's it for me. I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> I'm out of here, and peace.